Hi, my name's Will Raisin, and today I'm going to show you how to go about making the super glue pellet. It's probably something you've heard a lot of, and some of you maybe have even have used them. And if you saw my EMAG at Westwood Lakes, you'll see that I use them fishing shallow. They really are predominantly for fishing shallow and catching a lot of fish. And what it enables you to do is to catch more than one fish on one bait. This way it will really speed you up. You can unhook the fish, go immediately straight back out and catch another fish. In a match just gone recently at Manor Farm Fisheries, I actually caught 30 F1s on one super glue pellet. And that really did speed it up and put me ahead of my competitors. Gave me more time actually fishing rather than fiddling around baiting up. So that is how important I think it is. See here in my hook box, I've got quite a few tied up. That's how big an advantage I think that they are. They really speed everything up. You don't have to mess around baiting up. So what I want to do today is to go in depth. It's a little bit fiddly. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything, but to show you exactly how to prepare these because I think it's a massive advantage if you do use these. What I'm going to do, because you're catching lots of fish on these normally, I tie them to slightly heavier line. This is 015. And the first thing you need to do is to learn how to tie a noose knot. It's quite a simple knot. What you don't want to do when you're tying or using super glue pellets is to use a bait band because any kind of stretch will crack the super glue and obviously the pellet will come straight off. So by forming a loop in the main line and passing the smaller tag over it, over that loop three times and then the short tag goes through the three loops and then the loop that you originally formed, put your finger in, and then the noose, you have to use your mouth, it's hard to talk at the same time. That's the noose knot started to form. And what I'm going to do now is take it off my finger before I pull it tight. Again, a little bit fiddly, but I'm prepared to spend a lot of time getting little things like this absolutely bang on, because I know in the match, this can save me a massive amount of time. So now I've tied the noose, and that's a sliding loop. I'm going to get the 4 mil pellet that I'm going to tie now, place that in the loop, and now I'm going to pull the sliding knot down. And what that does now, you can see that that's locked on the pellet, and that's given me the size loop I want. Now, just being careful, I'm going to take that off, so you can see now that I'm left with the size noose that I need to go round a 4 mil pellet. And that's the starting of the super glue pellet rig. Now the hook is a size 20. It's an MWG so it's quite tough. And the trick now when you're tying your knotless knot is not to pull that loop in any way, shape or form. If you do, you're going to affect the size of the loop. And what I want, again with all my hair rigs, I want the bottom of the bait just touching to half a mil below the point of the hook. So you can see now that I can get hold of the, the noose, the tag, and start to tie the knotless knot. So that goes round the point, round the shank, sorry, of the hook. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it right the way down, about 15 turns, and what that does by elongating the knot, it holds the, the, the hair against the shank of the hook. And that enables me not to have any kind of rubber or anything to hold the actual hair against the shank of the hook because the knot's elongated and that's what it's doing. So what I can do now with my nail is move the knot back down. You can see now that the loop is bigger. That's the beauty of being able to tie the noose knot. Then I take a nicely formed, when you're just trying to get the size of the noose, it's not so important the pellet shape, it's more the diameter. But when you're actually picking one to super glue, you want a nice perfectly formed, there's one there, not too long. And what I'm going to do, I've put that on the noose and I've pulled it tight. And there you go there, that's actually on the noose. You can see that it's ready, and that is how you'd normally fish with a noose rig. What I'm going to do now, 
about a foot to 14 inches above it is just tie a single loop and this will come into play when we've actually varnished the uh, glued the pellet so you can see now I've got a big loop I've got the hook tied and I've got the pellet already on the noose now that's hard to come off now the trick with the super glue I'm going to pop that down I've got an old bit of a waggler here anything will do if you cut any of your pole tips back and all I'm going to do is put a nice blob of super glue on a bit of cardboard here or a bit of hardboard that I've got and now what you need to do is to take the pellet keep the line well away you don't want the line touching the super glue and what I've got here is a little tiny bit of cardboard and what I'm going to do I'm just going to place the pellet in the super glue either end and the bottom and then I'm just going to take any excess off with the little bit of cardboard dip the cardboard in and I'm also going to do the top end of the pellet what you want to do again take your time don't get any super glue on the line apart from the line that's obviously going around the pellet and what I'm doing is just coating the whole of the pellet in super glue and you can see there the whole pellet now is coated in super glue and what I'm going to do is just hold that momentarily and any excess super glue will go down to the bottom just touch it on the board and get any excess off you don't want loads of super glue on it what you want is a nice film of super glue around it now what we've got is a noose pellet on the line nice and tight we've got super glue all around it now what you want to do is leave it to dry and the ideal time for drying is about 24 hours what you want to try avoid to do is to do them the night before and use them the next day if you can leave them three four five days even better and that's when the big loop comes into play obviously when I'm fishing shallow three or four inch hook length that's going to play a part and all I do now take an old float on my worktop and the big loop can just be placed over the float and that can be left to dry when the glue's dry tomorrow tomorrow night or the next day I like to leave them three or four days just to totally harden off I can take it off of the old float offer it up in my hook box, tie it up to the right length and away you go. I try to do 10 or 15 at a time, stock my box up and like I say that's how I do the super glue pellet. You know now what everybody's talking about. It's a massive massive edge to have when you're fishing for fish shallow, small F1, small carp and you're fishing fast. A massive edge to have. You know exactly how to do it. If you fish venues like this, make yourself a few up and give it a go.